Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. A great big thank you to everyone that uh, is support my channel. I'm going to have to get this patio done. Uh, I'm going to uh, big, uh, thank you to everyone that visits my channel and also uh, a big welcome to all of the new people that has uh, subscribed please. I need subscribers and views and you're all welcome. Anyway. What a lovely day it is here in the UK. Sun, sun out, sunshine out, and it's it's quite warm actually. Uh, we'll probably get snow next week. Anyway, uh, this is my uh, my battery pack, my battery bank there. What I made, as you can see. Uh, this is where my assistant, the wife that is, she uh, she threw it out here. She didn't throw it; she put it out here. Because in the house I'd overcharged it, like I said in the last video. I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, it was well over a day, going on two days I think, where it was charging up, and I'd made a mistake. Well, it's not a mistake. It was an experiment, and I wanted to see how 18650 batteries. You know, uh, if you don't put the 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 battery charger balances on which I took off as I showed you in the last video because this is part two and to see what happened well what happened was there was like I said there was loud explosions about three of them and then at first the wife heard the explosions she came in it looked fine but when she went come back to bed it was quite a few explosions half an hour after she went in the sitting room and this was smoking uh, one of the things I want to do is actually see if it'll set on fire if it did explode and if it would explode, which it did explode, <laughs> and the smoke coming out told me, yeah, it's set on fire. But uh, the explosions were still going on and the smoke was coming out, which I told my wife not to breathe in. She knew that. I didn't tell her. I was still in bed. I asked her to all this. <laughs> I didn't sleep, actually. I had uh, health issues. Anyway, what happened was... <coughs> She didn't breathe the fumes in, luckily, because they are toxic fumes coming from 18650 batteries and lead acid, if they blow. You get the uh, fumes that are really toxic, so she didn't breathe them in, and that's why she put it out here straight away, instantly, when there was only a little bit of smoke coming from it. So, she put it there, and it, this is where it's been for the past oh, four days now. I've never had a chance to get out here till now. And then, like I said in my last video, uh, my assistant, the wife of this, she actually took all the screws out for me so that I can take the side off there. Now, have you noticed there, this is the orange strap. That there is the orange strap. Can you see it where it's burnt at the end? And can you see the black burnt powder stuff there at the side? I suspect that's the batteries. Uh, some of what the map. And what happened was, it was, that was threaded through here to create the handle that came up. So let's have a look inside. Oh, wow. Look at that. Now, what I've done is, on the, to, to salvage this, to ensure this was fine, I actually put, I'm going to get anything from that. Oh, my God, it's lit up. <laughs> And to see if I got any, sorry that I can't bend down, should have brought a chair. But there it is, there's some 18650 batteries there, the ones that's blue. It looks like one of the 3S packs has exploded. I've got no gloves on so I can't actually touch it. But I'll take all the, uh, I'm actually, there's lots of stuff in here I can use. But there's, what it is, you can see on the back there, here. Uh, just how much it had burnt on the inside. So yes, uh, the, my case, it worked perfect. It, everything worked as it should. Uh, safety wise, if you look down there, uh, remember one of my viewers, he said, you know, the uh, form I'd put in there, watch it. Well, I checked the form in there, look, it just melts. It doesn't actually set on fire, it doesn't burn. That there, I assume is probably the explosions of the batteries from this this area here where it goes on 
and I assume that's what that does. I've done that bit there. The wire in there never burnt out. Uh, looks like the fuse, I'll, I'll have to check that fuse. But as you can see, it looks like some of the wiring got a bit mangled there. A uh, bit monkey just with just with the stuff. I haven't checked the fuse yet, which I shall check. At present now, it's, it's not advisable to touch them yet. Uh, just see if there's a... All right, there's no more heat there. No heat there. No heat there. Oh, and the smell. It's actually sickly, the smell like. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's very sickly. So there's a cap down there of of uh, one of the 18650s in the corner down there. I don't know if I can see it. Look at there. Is it lighting up? Can you see the round disc? And the other thing I need to check is the inverter. Did the inverter cop it? Let's have a look. Now the inverter, I, I insulated at the back. Woo hey! <laughs> it's still reading 10 point, 10 point four volts. So there you are, people. Even though, even though it exploded, my inverter's fine. Well, I'll have to test it. Looks like you see there. It's not actually flames. It's just uh, that stuff off the batteries. I uh, what to call it. My brain's not working too good at the moment, but uh, yeah, and I flick this light on. There we go. We have a that switch is working. That switch is working. So even though it's in the condition it is, everything's salvageable. Even most of the batteries. I suspect I've lost about. Uh, I think I put 24 batteries per three on the 3S. So that's 24 batteries. Obviously, probably lost about 12. So, I'm now down to 60 batteries. I might just take my part and put them in a different configuration. I don't know. Uh, or I'll just check them all. Obviously, batteries are still working. There is battery still working and that. The case didn't set on fire. As you can see, here's the handle. This bit here. That there... So, well that was where them batteries are so yes the batteries did set on fire in a sense well they are, they're gonna but uh, and they exploded but they did not set the box on fire because I think what happened was uh, I didn't put any air vents in there deliberately I, I never got around to nothing to be honest but uh, I didn't put any air vents so obviously if a fire did start in there, it suffocated it. But uh, yes, uh, it all still works. There's all power on everything there. Everything is running fine. So if I was, if I was out and what happened there, if I did leave the uh, balanced charge controllers in, and some of them did go, I've learned a lesson. At least I'll still be able to operate it. <laughs> uh, and at a point, I will put another plug on it. Uh, I'll, I will be testing this out, but not yet. Oh, There's quite stable them ones there. Oh no, I did lose the full 24 and a couple off this pack here, I think. Yeah. Now that's a uh, coat on paper, uh, tape, what I put round them, that is actually fireproof. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I wrapped it up so much in that coat on tape, because there's, there's your results. That helped smother the flames, and uh, if it hadn't been for the batteries exploding, and they just set on fire, say, that would have actually just allowed to burn a hole through and then went out. I do know that these are kind of like a rocket engine when they go up. So I've been standing a little bit a little too long at the moment. I'm uh, getting a bit short of breath. Anyway, that's uh, 
tape, I suspect, did do its job as I expected. It did hold the fire back and stopped it. It, it does look like there, and put my slipper in front, along that ridge there, that's a square there, over there, which is, I assume is this square area there, that actually set on fire. But uh, obviously, it uh, extinguished like I expected. So I'm quite happy with the way I put it together. Uh, I'm quite happy with the, the fireproof material. Well, it's not fireproof. So yeah, I've probably only got about 46 batteries now. And I've lost the rest. So I will be salvaging them batteries there for what I can. Test them all, make sure they're all fine when I've disconnected. But them two packs there, the two 3S, which is 48 batteries, is still actually providing power. Uh, and say, well done me. So when I put it back together, a lesson to be learned, everyone. Do not use and do not charge 18650 batteries without putting a proper charge controller and balancer. The batteries must be balanced when they're charging and must be balanced when you're using them. It will be a lot safer. I mean, I use this for, oh, I don't know, a couple of weeks without any problems whatsoever. I couldn't overcharge it with them balancings because they cut the power off. So when I took them off, it allowed me to overcharge them. And there's your results if you do overcharge them without the balancers on. So yes, the three balancers I showed you in my last video, what I had on here, brilliant safety. I've also got to mention, as I mentioned in the past videos, if you listen, them 18650 batteries I bought have four safety features on them. And they stop this, the explosions. They stop the fire. No, they didn't. So when you buy batteries and it says four safety features or whatever, I oh, don't believe that. Because look, that wasn't safety. <laughs> Them. Although, I am, yeah, because I can see the cap off some. But it's supposed to stop them from exploding. But as you can see there, they're definitely exploded. Anyway, uh, I'm going to leave this for now. I'll bring an update on this. Uh, I have to go sit down now and relax because I am like out of breath because I've had to stand. I forgot to tell my assistant. Otherwise, there is to put you out of here for me. <laughs> so <laughs> I've had to stand through this video. Done well, actually, because normally I can only manage about five minutes. And uh, then I start getting short of breath. But that is it's brilliant. So the yeah, but there you are people, you see what happens if you don't do 18650 batteries properly. They are very, very dangerous batteries. The only good thing about them is they're a lot lighter and when you string them together, the power lasts a lot longer than a lead acid. But really lead acid's been around for donkey's years and there's a lot of safety about them now. You, you know, you rarely hear the lead acid batteries exploding. But with these ones, I mean, I've even overcharged lead acid batteries and they're still there ticking away at about 20 volts, like. <laughs> and it was supposed to be 12. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's a lesson learned. Make sure you use appropriate balance and charge boards on 18650 batteries. It's an extra safety feature. Keep it, put it on there. It doesn't matter what the batteries say. It doesn't matter if you know the manufacturer saying, Oh, we've got four safety features. Well, there's your four safety features. I honestly wouldn't say if all of them, I have three battery packs in there, if all of them had went up. And I honestly wouldn't say, uh, I think, yeah, I think it would have survived. It would not have bent through the box. You know, you're going to get down the box, but it would not have bent through it. The foam that I put in there, brilliant. It done its job how we expected if it ever did set on fire. That I suspect some of the toxic fumes was off that as well, off the foam that was in there. Because I also had it on the top, if you remember. That's what the foam blocks are over there, uh, if you see. That's where the foam blocks were, mostly on this square here. So obviously the foam melted like expected. I knew it would give off 
fumes. All of that's going to, but you know, get it out here. There's no fumes, simple as, and you're safe. As long as it doesn't go up in your house or in a, you know, an enclosed space while you're in there, uh, you'd be totally fine. But if it does, you just chuck it outside, <laughs> just as my assistant did. No wipes, that is. Anyway, I'm going to love yous and leave yous. And like I said, I just can't appreciate what everyone does when they come to watch my videos. I do get around to watch your videos too. I love to watch people's videos. Uh, as I say, my life, my uh, my life, my health took a bashing. And YouTube has helped me through this. And all what you people do when you come and you sit and you, uh, you, you're watching my videos and you give me the volunteer. Uh, the comments I do it might take a little while to get to you but I will get to you and uh, or my assistant wife that is and uh, I will get to you because you know I really do appreciate and enjoy reading the comments well most of them the my assistant the wife that is she does a lot of reading and she she loves it so on that note goodbye